I think the European Union recognised now that uh, they made a mistake yesterday. The Commission made a mistake. They didn't consult us, they didn't consult our friends in Dublin, um, and they united parties in Northern Ireland from Sinn Féin on one side to the DUP on the other in condemnation. And people in Northern Ireland were bewildered by this step. Now, the Commission have stepped back, and I've talked to the Commission Vice President, Maro Shevkovic, about this. He recognises he's committed to making sure that the, the Belfast Agreement works in the interests of all of uh, Northern Ireland's people, and he recognises, therefore, that we do need a reset. And I'm looking forward to working with him and the parties in Northern Ireland to help address the problems that people in Northern Ireland have identified. The Prime Minister was very clear. We've entered into contractual arrangements with AstraZeneca and Pfizer. We expect those arrangements to be honoured, uh, and President von der Leyen was clear that she understood exactly uh, the UK government's position, so we expect that those contracts will be honoured, we expect that vaccines will continue to be supplied. The UK government's position is absolutely clear. We expect companies and contracts to be honoured, um, and the European Union know that, and of course we'll work with them in order to make sure that their own problems can be tackled. When friends make mistakes, uh, the most important thing to do is to help everyone to get back onto the right track. So yes, a mistake was made yesterday, but I think it's also important that we recognise that while we must prioritise the vaccination of British citizens, it's also in our interests to support our friends and neighbours with their vaccine programme. And we will do that consistent with making sure that contracts are honoured, promises are kept, and that UK citizens are vaccinated first.